Will somebody please cue that void? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter, ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going in the battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> An old cheese. Stronger than the Rockers and dirt. Hey, you Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're fighting crime all over town. Three, two, one. Pizza cats are on the run. The big cheese is the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Lunch hour in Little Tokyo. Hungry citizens win their way toward the Pizza Cat's Pizzeria. What explains the sudden popularity of these culinary kitties? Is it the sublime subtlety of their furball and fish head special? Or the rumor that the new kids on the block will be making a personal appearance? Whatever it is, it sure ain't the romantic atmosphere. Hey, you okay? Oh, got it. Hurry! There you go. Coming, coming. They think they've got a rough. I have to push all these buttons. Hurry, go quick, back here. Keep your shirt on. Keep your pants on. Keep off the ground. One, two, three, four. What do you think we came for? Pizza, pizza. Sheesh, you can't take much more of this. My dogs are killing me if your partner is brushing. This job's going to be the end of us, Speedy. I don't care how many lives we're supposed to have. Is it time for a commercial yet? Hey, I've been sitting here for hours. Where's lunch? Yeah, yeah us too. Where's the eat? Yeah, just a minute. Coming right up. <laughs> Guido, we've got a rush delivery. Do you want to take it? Do I? And get out of this joint for a while? Oh, then get moving. <laughs> out of my way, pizza face. Attention, everyone. You might want to cover your ears at the count of three. One, two. Oh, never mind. Huh? Looks like her aim was just a little off again. Looks like Guido is out of control. Will he be launched into permanent orbit or will he be saved by the bell? So much for cats landing on their feet. Meanwhile, business is still booming. Oh, wait, my fingers are gonna fall off. Phew! Give me a golden candelabra and I'd feel like Liberace. Don't say that. You're much prettier than Liberace. And speaking of pretty, things are gonna get pretty ugly around here if we don't get help soon. Yeah, you're right. Hey, why don't we advertise for some part-time help, Francine? Yeah, perfect. Huh? <gasps> Guys, we're thinking of hiring another busboy. What do you think? That might be a good idea. Hey, what do those squiggles mean? It's all Greek to me. Can anybody here read Greek? That's not Greek, it's Japanese. This is a Japanese cartoon, remember? The pizza cats are looking for part-time help. It says the pay is good, plus health benefits and free pizza. You couldn't give me enough free pizza to ever make me want to work in that madhouse. That's nothing compared to making a delivery. You get shot out of a big gun and half the time you hit a building. Guy'd have to be out of his mind to work for those nitwits. <laughs> You know, that job's worth considering. Mom, forget it. If they let you into the kitchen, they wouldn't have any pizza left to sell. <laughs> hmm. Well, it does say the pay is good. <laughs> I knew this place would be successful, but when you said we'd clean up, I didn't think it'd be every night for three hours. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
I'm as worn out as someone's old toothbrush. I'm as pooped as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. Oh, that's a great song. Johnny Mathis, wasn't it? Oh. Don't give up, guys. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Huh? <gasps> Good evening. Hey, what do you think this is? Some kind of all-night sushi stand? We have it to be closed. I've come about the part-time position you wanted to fill. <gasps> a soccer! Yeah! <laughs> we got ourselves a soccer! We got ourselves a soccer! We got ourselves a soccer! We are sure a sight for sore eyes. How you doing? Hey, you're gonna love it here. We're just one big happy family around here. When do you think you can start? How about right now? That sounds good to me. You're up to something. You seem to know who I am. How's that? I don't think we met before, have we? Huh? Psst. I don't think he recognizes us out of our fighting uniforms. Where the samurai? <laughs> Keep your big yap shut, Speedy. The guy never met us before, get it? Speedy? Is that Speedy Ceviche? <laughs> I thought I saw a fly in your head. But anyway, oh, what were we talking about, Mr. Bird? He called that cat Speedy. I heard him. I don't know why there's no one here named Speedy. Actually, Mr. Bird, this cat's name is um, Flopsy. And this one here is a uh, Muffin. Huh? Flopsy? What sort of wimpy name is that? You out of your mind? Muffin? What the heck's that? Sounds like something you eat for breakfast. Flopsy, Muffy, you two stop behaving like kittens and get back to work. Got it? Can't blame her for being touchy. Yeah, with a name like hers. Oh, oh halibut breath. Oh, you're saying I've got bad breath? <laughs> Meanwhile, the Big Cheese's latest evil scheme has hit a snag. What do you mean, everybody? Stop working on my latest evil scheme. Your workers haven't been paid for three weeks, master. So what? What right of those flunkies got to complain? Is there some sort of flunkies union I'm not aware of? What are they gonna do? So me? Call Amnesty International? Who cares if they haven't been paid? Even crow have to eat, master. I'll make them eat, Crow. Imagine complaining about their pay. They ought to be proud to be providing slave labor for the most brilliant criminal genius in the world. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Bird, what a sad story. I can imagine how difficult that's made things for you and the other Crows not being paid in three weeks. Yeah, so you can see why I need this job. No offense, but I guess that's what you get when you work for a guy who's a creep. <laughs> oh, I suppose you're right. That's really touching, but I warn you, not just anybody can work for the pizza catch. No, sir, you gotta have what it takes, right? Mm-hmm. Don't be too depressed if you flunk that aptitude test. We barely passed ourselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've got his results right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't miss a single answer. <laughs> Not a single one? You're kidding! He got every one, even the one about where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on a Saturday night? This is getting ridiculous. What are we gonna do if we let this crooked crow work with us? It's really gonna cramp our style. I still can't believe he got that one right. Last, we have the personality test to see if you're courteous and cheerful and all that stuff. Me? Courteous? Cheerful? Yeah, you know, do you have a nice smile? Are you good with people? That kind of thing. Well, to be honest, I'm afraid that a nice smile was never a requirement of my previous job. Hmm. Oh, I think we can skip that part of the test, Francine. I'm sure Mr. Bird's gonna work out just fine. Well, I thank you, Flopsy. I guess I could always work on improving my smile. I'm sure you're gonna be a big success. The guy's gonna be a disaster. As soon as we get a crowd in here, he'll show his true colors. And then he'll be out on his ear. A homeless jailbird wandering the lonely streets of a cruel city. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello! <laughs> Welcome, everybody! Step right up! We're all so happy to see you! Our courteous staff is standing by to serve you with a smile! Yes, sir! What can I do for you? Your wish is my command! By the way, did you ever see such a beautiful day? I mean, wow! Anyway... See if we're cheerful! Here you go! Thank you! There you are! Hope you like it! Here you go! Is he ever courteous? <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh, there you go, tiger! He's gonna get us fired! Oh. 
Mr. Bird, think you can handle a delivery? With pleasure! <laughs> Muffin, Flopsy, you two still sitting around on your tails? You could learn a thing or two about improving your work habits from that guy. Are you listening to me? You ever had one of those days when all you want to do is go back to bed? Oh. Hey, time, Mr. Bird, here are your wages. Well, thank you, but isn't this too much? To tell you the truth, I slipped you a little bonus because I admire the way you've been working your tail feathers off. You're an inspiration. An inspiration? Me? What a lovely thing to say. Unlike some other people around here. His bonus is coming out of our salary. He's not only cramping our style, he's cramping our pay. I'd like to cramp him. Enough, Bad Bird. I don't want my employees doing any more part-time work for the Pizza Cats. From now on, you must concentrate full-time on my evil schemes. Yes, boss. My latest scheme is the Egg Bird here. He's producing a liquefied form of laughing gas with which I'll poison little Tokyo's water supply. He may not be housebroken, but he's still impressive, hmm? Mm -hmm. Soon the entire population will be reduced to giggling idiocy. Everyone will laugh at my jokes, no matter how bad they are. Alvar walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't get many Alvars in here. The Alvar says, yeah, at these places, you won't get many more. Yeah, <laughs> da, 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 da. and hard fork. That's a good one. <laughs> and hard fork. <laughs> I slipped you a little bonus, Mr. Bird. You're an inspiration. No, I can't go back there. Got to quit. Welcome, everybody. No, oh, I'm a bad guy. I belong here. Step right up to the counter. No! Isn't it a beautiful day? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. There you go. Be right with you. Coming. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> He's making us look really bad. Yeah, but what are we supposed to do about it? After all, we can't just fire him for no good reason. I wonder whose idea it was to give him a try. All right, all right, it was me. Next time, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Oh. Hmm? What's happening now? He looks different. <gasps> oh, look at that. Why is he glowing? Why? Because for the first time in his life, Bad Bird is doing good instead of evil. He's finally feeling what it's like to be a nice guy, and it fills his heart with an indescribable joy. <laughs> Isn't that new bird they've got working here like totally cute? Oh, he's not my type. He looks a little too much like a feather duster. You ain't much to look at either. <gasps> well, you can't expect a guy to change overnight. Maybe bad bird's not all bad. Maybe all he needed was a chance. Sure, and maybe Cincinnati will sweep Oakland. Watch it, buddy. Hey, come on. Where's a fire? Heck, ma'am, twerk nothing to get weepy about. But listen, everybody, while I got you here, I'd like to invite you all to the Pizza Cat's Pizzeria, where pizza's our game and friendly services are claim to fame. <laughs> We've created Frankenstein. Hmm? If you'll excuse me. Hmm? Bad bird here. What is it? The big cheese's evil scheme is all set to go. Rendezvous at the city reservoir at once. And remember, it's your turn to bring the refreshments. Understood. What's up, Bird? Hmm? Oh, hello there, Flopsy. Dude, that name's gonna drive me crazy. Listen, before I go, I just want to thank you and all the others for your faith and trust in me. But where are you going? What about the pizza cat? We'll always have Paris. But now I've got a job to do, Flopsy. Where I go, you can't follow. What I gotta do, you can't be any part of. Oh, but I'll cherish the memories of our times together. The laughter, the tears, the songs that we'd sing. These were a few of my favorite things. Funny, I don't remember any of that. Do me a favor and say goodbye to the others. And whatever you do, don't drink any water out of the tap tonight. Hey, what do you mean? Farewell, Flopsy. Ah, that name again. Let's move, Pizza Cats. The big cheese is doing something to the city's water supply. Prepare to lunch. Bye, Pizza Cats. Pizza cats. They make great pizza, but that ain't all. Some
Across town at the city reservoir. Why do I feel so guilty? I should be enjoying this. I gotta get a grip on myself. Go, Egbert! Poison the reservoir! I'm a bad guy and darn proud of it! Yeah, me too! <laughs> I hear someone laughing. <laughs> One's enough, idiot. Who is it? Who's out there? Sheesh, you think you'd have a pretty good idea who it is by now. Yes, if we didn't show up like this in every episode. Well, Bird Brain, I'll tell you who it is. Your worst nightmare. And we're ready to fight evil with the power of love. Gotcha. All right, everybody, that's enough small talk. Let's walk the creep. Pizza Cats! Rats, how did you guys know I was up here? We know every move you make and watch who you're calling rats. We're the Samurai Pizza Cats. Your history is what you are. Go get them. Oh, yeah. And with that, they leap into battle. And what a battle it is. Never before in the history of this episode has there been such a fight. Well, do something, Edward. All right, I'll hold my nose. squirting some kind of pollutant in the water. Don't they know it's National Clean Water Week? Hurry, the Samurai Tornado! Yeah, that'll work. Mm, I hope neither of you guys ate a heavy lunch today. Oh, how pretty! Lunging into the water, the tornado creates a vacuum which dispels the liquefied laughing gas. You can try this experiment at home with a vat of rendered pit fat and an outboard motor. Don't swallow it, it'll turn you into a laughing idiot. <laughs> What's the joke? The joke's on you! Ready to Speaking of things you can do at home, you can make your own Egbert by taking two tires off Daddy's car and bolting them to the refrigerator. <laughs> Second thought, you might consider starting a butterfly collection. You scrambled egg. You can mess with the pizza cats, but you can't mess with the city's drinking water, especially during National Clean Water Week. You'd think evildoers would know by now not to get Speedy Ceviche mad, because when that happens, it's never very long before he unsheaths his magical dinjo sword. It chops, it dices, it fillets, it does everything but take out the garbage. And when it appears, criminals better run for cover, because... You can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs! Yeah. Again, how irritating. <laughs> I know you must be angry, but if you let me explain. Oh, not again. Angry? What makes you think I'm angry? Just because I'm turning the color of a tomato when my head feels like it's about to? Gee, I'm glad he wasn't angry. Here you go. Coming, coming. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Still in the same fix we were in before. You know, I kind of miss having bad bird around. Excuse me, are you still hiring? Are we hiring? You bet! Hmm? Terrific! We can't wait to get started! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away! Like fur balls in your throat! We kittens are a special breed! We never call retreat! Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet! 
So hail to thee, O Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cats! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Am I right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.